Hello, welcome to Tuesday's tip from the workshop. Uh, today we're gluing the soundboard. Uh, this is a simple thing I've been doing for a long time and it's been helpful, so hopefully it will be helpful for you too. As you know, when we butter up the, uh, the uh, uh, side assembly to glue the soundboard on, the soundboard becomes quite lubricated. So what I like to do is this. The, uh, under the, where the fingerboard's going to go, I drill two little pinholes and then with our Luthery dowel, which is just a round toothpick, two little pins in it and that keeps it from sliding as much. Now it will still slide so you cannot rely on just these two pins. Earlier on I tried putting a, th a third pin down here at the tail, you know, inside the binding so it would be hidden. Uh, I never had a problem but it was a little too close for comfort. I was uncomfortable with it. So what I do is uh, um, duct tape, not that piece of duct tape. <laughs> I'll duct tape the top to the side along with the pins. Put a piece of duct tape here and a piece of duct tape here. And uh, it keeps it from sliding. So you keep your center line even when we go through the clamping process for gluing the top to the, uh, um, to the side assembly. Now I'm free to use the duct tape like this for the same reason I'm, use, I'm free to use the tape for the binding, which I will cover in another one of these episodes. But I'm free to do that because there's a wash coat on the top. It's a very thin coat of shellac. I like using the shellac uh, because it sands off so easily. It's a great moisture barrier because I spray it on the inside of the top too. It's very thin. I don't even know if you could measure it, but it's just a very thin layer of uh, a shellac that just sands off easily with 220 grit sandpaper. But it's enough for the tape to be able to stick to the top without pulling the fibers out. So the tip is these two little pins. Now I'm doing all this obviously before it's glued up, before I spread the glue out. Now, what I'm going to do next is pull the top off, spread the glue, and then put everything together, put the tape on it for real, and clamp it up. But <laughs> these two little pins, simple little thing hidden under the fingerboard, they really can keep that scooting. Every now and then it'll move just a little bit, and a little bit makes a big problem. So, okay, be happy building guitars. <laughs>